Let's talk about something you might not even realize is a part of your everyday life, shellac. For over 3,000 years, this natural substance has been treasured for its versatility and unique properties. It all starts with the lac bug, an insect that secretes resin onto tree branches, primarily in South and Southeast Asia. This humble little insect has played an incredible role in art, food and industry, shaping history in ways you wouldn't expect. Shellac's journey began as a vibrant crimson dye prized for coloring fabrics and textiles. But its uses didn't stop there. The resin secreted by lac bugs also served as a strong glue and provided a shiny, water-resistant finish to wood and leather. In medieval Europe, artists discovered its potential and began mixing it into their paints, giving their artwork enhanced durability and a unique sheen. Fast forward to the 19th century and Shellac found a new purpose. It became the base for gramophone records. Before the invention of vinyl, this natural resin was essential for recording and playing music. By the 20th century, it was a household staple in the United States, used as a popular finish for wood paneling in homes. Even today, Shellac's legacy lives on in food and pharmaceuticals. It's used to coat pills, giving them a protective layer and as a glossy glaze on candies, fruits, cakes, and nuts. The global shellac industry is worth over $167 million today, with India producing more than half of the world's supply. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved shellac as a food-safe additive, often listed on ingredient labels as confectioner's glaze. If you've enjoyed treats like jelly beans, junior mints, or candy corn, you've probably consumed a tiny bit of shellac. It's even sprayed onto citrus fruits to create a waxy coating that locks in moisture and extends shelf life, all while making those lemons and oranges on grocery store shelves look extra appealing. For thousands of families in rural India, shellac isn't just a product, it's their livelihood. Take Turlin, for example, a farmer whose income once depended entirely on a lac production. In 2022, she could earn $12 per kilogram of shellac, but today that price has dropped by half. To make ends meet, she's had to diversify, raising ducks and growing rice and vegetables alongside farming lac bugs. The road ahead for shellac producers is anything but easy. Climate change is hitting hard making it increasingly difficult to raise lac insects. Intense rainstorms wash away the resin from tree branches, while fungal infestations thrive in the damp conditions. On the flip side, rising temperatures are drying out the trees that serve as the insect's primary food source. The result? Declining shellac yields and struggling farmers. Organizations like the one led by Vijay Kumar Vidu are stepping in to help. Vijay's NGO is working with farmers to investigate the root causes of these challenges. By introducing scientific solutions such as fungicides, they're helping to improve shellac production and safeguard this ancient industry for future generations. Farmers are learning that with a little help from science, they can adapt to the changing environment and keep raising their amber insects. Shellac's story is one of resilience and innovation. From ancient dyes to modern candy coatings, this natural resin has proved its worth time and time again. And while the challenges of climate change are daunting, Indian lac producers are fighting to preserve their craft, ensuring that shellac remains a part of our lives for generations to come. So, the next time you enjoy a glossy treat or marvel at a beautifully finished piece of wood, remember the tiny lac bug and the hardworking farmers who bring this remarkable product to the world. It's a story of nature, history, and human ingenuity, all rolled into one.